quick blog post about the importance of dedicated mountain biking trails, right? Um, maybe a week ago now I released a video about five things that were, or five things that sucked about hardtail, hardcore hardtail mountain bikes. Still a mouthful. Um, and I wanted to make the counterpart to that video, I wanted to make five things that are awesome about them. And um, having just got this hardcore hardtail mountain bike, I wanted to sort of go out to local spots I knew and ride certain features just to get a feel for the bike. But it feels like every time I go out, the trails have been absolutely destroyed by horses. There seems to have been like an explosion in horse riding around here, you know, and I don't begrudge them. Um, but horse riding absolutely destroys the local trails. And it's not just sort of um, the double tracks that go through farmland. They're branching out into the woods and into the trails of the woods. And they're just absolutely destroying any and all trails um, that people actually normally walk on or um, ride their bikes on, right? And I suppose there's two elements to that. One is it's wetter than normal, so it's worse than it would normally be, whereas the ground would normally be quite hard and frozen, so it's a lot more noticeable this year. Um, and secondly, um, it's either really wet and it creates horrible riding, or um, it's really frozen and hard and it creates horrible um, bumpy riding. I don't know, there's just something about horse hooves that are kind of annoying when you're riding over them for kilometres on end. <clears throat> So that's the first thing that's impacted my ability to get to these certain spots. Some of them are just completely destroyed by the fact there are lots, it's not just like, you know, one person going around on a horse. I mean, there are lots of horses, must be multiple times a day, the same horses are going out, right? So I suppose that's kind of one, some of the trails and some of the nice features on non-mountain bike specific trails have just been destroyed by horse riders. And then um, other trails have been kind of completely destroyed by motocross riders, scramblers, whatever they're calling them these days. Um, and, you know, and I don't begrudge kids for taking up motocross. Let's be honest, you can get motocross bikes and enduro bikes, motorbikes should I say, cheaper than mountain bikes. So why wouldn't you? Do you know what I mean? I could go out and buy a second hand decent sort of enduro mountain bike for not a lot of money. So I don't blame these kids um, at all getting into that rather than something like mountain biking and the shared trails. But again, um, it does ruin the trails for mountain biking, right? So I don't begrudge them. But again, this is why I like mountain bike specific trails and why we should work really hard to get the official ones in because there's some unofficial ones and they suffer the same fate, yeah? Um, the official mountain bike trails kind of have some recourse um, with the local authorities if horses ride on them. Um, but the unofficial mountain bike trails, they get destroyed, you know, dig season, um, come summer, I guess. And then also, um, and this, again, is absolutely no one's fault. But I think it's the combination of, you know, you've got... Um, beetles that eat into the trees and kill them. You have strong winds which knock the trees over. You have elevation which means trees aren't strongly rooted so they can just naturally fall over. Um, and then the combination of that but add in the fact that the price of firewood has become super expensive because the price of gas got really expensive and the price of electricity got really expensive so wood was the cheapest way to buy your home. And last year, loads of people were installing wood burners, and then they needed firewood. And here, somewhere like Czech, um, people get paid less than somewhere like Germany next door. And um, all of a sudden, Germans are going crazy for firewood, and all the firewood's going over the border because they can charge double the price. Um, so yeah, um, firewood's really expensive. And what that means is we've gone from again a couple of guys with chainsaws uh, and a few horses pulling out the logs 
to major logging operations. So I was shocked. Um, again, the trees fell down naturally. It's not like they're cutting trees down just for firewood. But what did shock me was the size of the machines that are going through this place. I mean, they carved probably like, I'm talking like, there must have been 10 to 12 feet wide, yeah? Two, 2.5 meter wide vehicles going through there. Um, and where there used to be a trail, there was now just mud. And where there used to be trees, it was like completely clear. Um, and it just made me really appreciate, you know, um, having these dedicated mountain bike trails here. So come mid-March, April, when they open up, uh, I'm going to be really grateful to have a go and go somewhere I know to go and test this bike out. So yeah, I think legal... Yeah, so I think legal trails are really important. Uh, mountain bike specific, mountain bike only, and it's something we should all be um, helping build in our local communities, right? And working towards in our local communities because they really are important. Because you know, I didn't appreciate the multi use trails because they've never been a problem before, and this year they've just kind of all gone. Um, okay, so that was today's blog post for the day. Um, thanks for watching. I'll um, catch up with you next time.